Hello, Fifth Gear Web people. Thanks for clicking on our very first Frankfurt Motor Show video. I've got an admission to make. We're not in Frankfurt yet. We're still in Birmingham and it's seven o'clock in the morning. We haven't left yet. Another admission is we're not about to jump on a plane and enjoy a sandwich and a nice massage from a German lady. We're going to drive there. That behind me is our Frankfurt wagon, a Seat Exao ST, which means estate. It should be quite good because it's got a diesel engine and a 70 litre fuel tank. I've worked out that if we average 40 miles to the gallon, that car should be able to do 616 miles. And it's 606 miles to Frankfurt. So if we're careful, we'll get there on one tank, which would be nice. Behind me are a team of uh, crack professionals known as the Fifth Gear Web TV crew. I'll introduce them to you. Um, that right there is Roy. Hi, Roy. Hello. He holds the camera. This is James. Hi. He tells Roy where to point the camera. At their best, they're like Ross Braun and Nick Fry, well-oiled team producing winning stuff. At their worst, they're like a sort of Phil and Fern outtake when they laugh about dipping beef. Web people, we're now on the route to Dover, which means we're on the M1, which means we're incredibly bored. So, we're gonna play some Frankfurt Motor Show top trump factage game. Did you know, I'll start, that the Frankfurt Motor Show is, in fact, the largest motor show in the world? Did you know that a motoring journalist actually died at the Frankfurt Motor Show a few years ago of heat exhaustion? Well, um, have you bought the travel fans? I have bought a bottle of water. What, to pour over my head, yeah, like yeah. a Kenyan runner? Yeah. And I've got one more. Did you know that the world's first ever turbo-powered car was introduced at the Frankfurt Motor Show? Really? Was it a Saab? It was a Saab. What model of Saab? Saab 99. Hmm. What year? 1978. No, it was 77. Really? Ha. Any facts, Rory? Did you know that Frankfurt is the home of the German National Library? I didn't know that, Rory, no. just hit the M25 and something sort of vaguely interesting has happened. The range of the fuel tank is telling us we've got 500 miles of diesel. We've covered 115 miles, which means, theoretically, if we keep averaging the same fuel consumption, we'll get there with 11 miles to spare without filling up. Small victory, but on a boring journey, it, it keeps you going. I'm heartened by that. Right then, we're coming up to the port of Dover, where we're not allowed to film, just in case we start any terrorism by accident, so we're not going to. We'll switch off the cameras, see you in France. If this was proper telly, there'd be an advert right now, but there's not, so don't worry about it. Come on. Knoblauch. Garlic. Ich möchte gern zu Herrn Dr. Van kann ich kommen? Something, when can I come? So, if you were speaking to uh, Hello, Doctor. Dr. Claudia's uh, receptionist, you'd say this. When can Dr. Claudia come? Okay. No, it's I'd like to see the doctor, who's Claudia. When can I come? Although you're saying it's masculine. Here it is masculine. Oh, Here thanks. You are. That's why we're confused. You were confused by the fact that I use masculine yes. instead of feminine. So you understood everything in that sentence? What to do it? Oh, okay. Is that a um, Chevrolet Cruze? It is. It's a Chevrolet, Chevrolet Cruze. Cruise. Even Belgian people have got poor taste in cars. Well, I saw a Dodge Caliber earlier. Really. That's not in as fact, bad. did you know that Dodge Caliber is going to be at the Frankfurt Show? It's been facelifted. It's also the uh, Skoda Superb Estate. That is thoroughly exciting. Which is have they still got the yeah. dual uh, lid? I don't, I don't know. Do you, do you need that? In an estate, guess, yeah. You want the bottom bit to drop down so you can slide there, the yeah. dog in without yeah. lifting the window. <laughs> you hit the dog's head <laughs> on the way in. Well, the dog would be like, knocked out. I don't out. think that's what a spit tail gates are for, so you can post the dogs through. No, they're for uh, posting dogs letter. or sitting on and having a picnic. How far have we got to go? What's the range saying? Range 250 miles, so, so we're fine. 
49. Couldn't make that 49 mile. I don't want to fill it. I don't want to fill it. Been in the uh, Exeo STD Phyllis for 13 hours now. Quite enjoying it. Quite comfy. Quite good on the motorway. Nice long legs. Three problems, however. Firstly, this armrest gets in the way of the handbrake and the gear stick. So when you want to change gear and that's down, you just basically give yourself tennis elbow, which is frustrating. The speedo dials, when the headlights aren't on, are unlit, which you think would be fine, but they're actually really dim, even in full daylight. Like Roy. Roy, please. Switch the lights on. That's how they should look all the time, like lit up, but they're not. But perhaps what could be the most important uh, problem with the car is if your dad or your friends are as tall as our Scottish friend Roy here, when he's in his comfortable seating position, the back seats behind him become about as useful as the ones you'd find in a 911, which in a state car, a little bit disappointing. Probably because it's based on an old Audi A4, so the packaging's not quite as clever as a thoroughly modern design. wounded. We've got 93.3 miles to go to Frankfurt and we've run out of diesel. Roy's just having to top her up. We've done 534 but it wasn't good enough. With all the filming we lost some range so we caved in and we lost our game of fuel range bingo. So, we left 17 hours ago, now we're in Frankfurt. Yes, tomorrow we're going to the Motor Show and you will be able to see all of the videos we make about all the new cars elsewhere on Fifth Gear Web TV. In hindsight, you might think this one was a little bit pointless, but I promise you, it just makes the other ones look better.